everyone, it's Gidu and it's pajama time, as you can see. I know I am very late for this video. I'm back, kind of. Um, I finally got my new phone. Um, I'm not set up at my desk because I have a new desk set up and right now I don't know how to make it work with, with my phone. So I don't know. Right now we're just doing a temporary thing to see how this works. If you guys like this and the lighting is okay, please let me know. This phone is really weird though. It's like making my hair look super shiny. I don't understand what kind of like processing stuff is going on with the new camera. But yeah, so I'm confused. But at least I have a working functional phone that has a microphone that works because my last one didn't. I was using my iPad to film everything and it was a giant shit show. Too big, very awkward to film and not great camera. Anyways, here is the Link's Awakening, the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening um, Nintendo Switch remake that they did for the game. It was originally a Game Boy game and then I think it had a Game Boy Color game as well, a version of it with like some extra dungeon. This is what the box looks like. Again, if the lighting is irritating, please let me know right now. It's just kind of a test. I'm again, super late on this video, but what, what am I gonna do? Um, actually the writing here and this logo up here is a matte color and the back of the box, and then the rest of the front is glossy. And then the back of the box is actually mostly matte, but then the, the photographs are glossy. Um, I did order it from EB Games in Canada. So what we got as a pre-order bonus is this little print slash poster for the game here. It kind of has like a metallic sheen on Link, if you can see. Um, unfortunately, it's not double-sided like some of their other stuff that they had, but it's still really cute that they added that. And I picked up his Amiibo as well d went on the release date. Uh, and then, of course, because these guys were also released on the same day, I picked them up too. Uh, now that I'm trying to keep up with my Amiibo collecting, because before I didn't collect them, and then I was very behind and I had to catch up. But yeah, let us open him up. Bent the box, as I always fucking do, um, right here, unfortunately. But that's cute. It has a little design here with the owl. I've never actually played Link's Awakening. So I'm really excited to try this one out. Not sure when I'm gonna have time though, unfortunately. So here is the art book. I was worried it wasn't gonna be hardcover, but it actually is hardcover. Unfortunately, the back is kind of scraped up even though it's brand new, which irritates me a lot because I'm crazy. Um, but here is the front of the art book. Here's the spine and here's the back. And as you can see, it is quite like it should all be like a mat, but as you can see, there's lots of scrapes and scratches around, which is honestly really too bad. We can get back to this later. And it was just packaged with the book up here and then the game is right here. Here is the front cover, which you've probably seen. It's just the regular. And the back of the Dreamers Edition looks like this, which I assume is probably a little different because it probably won't have the, um, or the wall copy that's sold in stores is probably going to have pieces of like screenshots and whatnot to let you know what the game's about. But this one just has this. So I am just going to open this one up now. Alrighty, so it is now open. And the inside of the case, oh my, it actually has different art than the regular. Um, I've seen the inside of the original box, and I'm pretty sure it has the art of him in the boat or whatever. And this one instead has the map of the island. And then the game here, as always. Yeah, that's interesting. It actually has the map of the island and not the... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure the other ones have. That's cool that they have a different art piece, though. Um, and I guess since it's in the art book, we don't really need it anyways. I think it has, like, this on the back of it in the regular version. Like, this piece. If I am incorrect, let me know. But that's neat. It has its own exclusive art. This is a lot smaller than I thought, and I kind of like the design of the um, European one a little better. I think that was the all black one with just like the gold accents and whatnot, which is really pretty. But this is really nice too. Like I do like the kind of classic book look. The other one just looked so sleek. Like I don't know what it, what it was about it, but it was really nice. Yeah, so that is that. And that is pretty much everything. Um, 
I'm probably not gonna open him right now, unfortunately. There's probably lots of people that have done an unboxing of him that'll let you guys know what he looks like. I just don't have anywhere to put him at the moment and I don't really want to tear open the box until I can figure out a way to not destroy it. Which I know there are ways. I'm just lazy and I haven't done it yet. Okay, I lied. I'm actually just gonna do the flip through right here at the end of the video. <clears throat> Um, here is the front cover and the back cover kind of closer up. There are all the scrapes on the book, unfortunately, that came out of the box. Please don't mind the fact that I don't have nails and I'm wearing a different outfit. This is filmed very much later after I originally made this video. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get back into things. It's fine. <laughs> And we will just do a flip through. Um, a warning too, if you don't want any spoilers, I'm not 100% sure if anything in here really is considered spoilers, but just in case, if you don't want to know anything about the game where it's been out for a while now, but if you don't want to, don't watch this part of the video. <laughs> Section one, I guess these are just character designs. Let me know how you guys feel about this kind of filming style. I'm trying to give um, something different a try, and this is with the new phone as well, so it does have a like further back view of the camera, which is really nice. I might change things up a little bit as we go along, but for now, this is how I'm going to try and film videos. I do really like how they took um, the other designs and then made them in the game. Like when it showed the original art for Link and then how they put him in the game. Same thing with Marin. Like her original art and then how they actually put her in the game. Same thing with Taran. Taran. I don't know how to say his name. But yeah. It's just neat how they did the designs. This game's super cute. I hope to play it at some point. I just have not had any time. Or energy, for that matter. Which I think is the big one. Is the energy. <laughs> I apologize that I'm not talking too much. I don't have a whole lot to say. This book is very cute. I'm enjoying, again, the way the designs ended up <laughs> translating into the game. And the art style is pretty cute. At first, I wasn't a huge fan of this kind of design for Link, but I think it's grown on me. At least this way people who weren't able to pick up the Dreamers Edition can at least see what the art in the book looks like. Whether it makes you feel like you're missing out, I apologize. But hopefully it makes you feel like you're not missing out too much because you're still able to view it from me. Again, if you have any suggestions on how you think filming these videos might be better, um, let me know. Like I said, I'm just kind of trying out some new stuff. <laughs> what? A slime eye. Interesting. There's quite a bit of content in it, this book, which is really nice. I love when they add art books in special editions, but at the same time, I feel like if they're going to publish a full-on art book for a game, I prefer them to not have an art book in the special edition because if that's all that comes with it as a special edition, I prefer not to buy it. Oh, so cute. <laughs> He's a painter and he's crocodile alligator. Um, but yeah, I prefer not to buy them because I can save money on non-special editions and just buy the actual full art book because the art books that always come with special editions are always watered down compared to the full release of an art book. 
there's different flippers. Do you get flippers in this game? Is that like the Zora outfit in the other games makes you swim faster? I have no idea. Again, have not played this game yet, so I apologize if watching me flip through this and not have any knowledge is bothering you. <laughs> these are cute. I like these fish. A mambo. Mambo. Hmm. And there's ghosts. Yeah, so you can see again how they translated the mermaid's design into the game with the, the stylized eyes and stuff. Also, I really apologize if in all of my videos I tend to lose my train of thought. That happens a lot and probably will continue to happen, especially now. I feel like my brain does not focus on things very much. A slime eel. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that design, to be honest. And the windfish. I believe that's the windfish. That's a windfish, right? Is the giant whale? <laughs> they look so mad. A rover. I feel like I've seen this guy before. I do find it funny how this game specifically has so many tie-ins with like the Mario series. Because the team that got to make this just got to go wild. That's unnerving. A face on the floor. I don't know who this is, but he's adorable. Giant frog guy. I guess he's less cute in his actual design, but he's still kind of cute. Like, it's literally just Luigi slash Mario. I mean, it looks more like Luigi because it's a green and he looks tall and skinny here. Less so here, but hen housekeeper. Luigi, the hen housekeeper. Interesting. <laughs> Why does this guy look like... Is it Sans from Undertale? I've never played Undertale, but when I see him, that's who I think of. I don't know if that's just me. Like, he looks... Anyways. Section 8. We're coming up close to the end here. Turtle Rock. It's like alligator rocks, rock alligators. For a second, he made me think of the game Snake. I like the full pages like this. I wish there was a little bit more um, like full page art, but I do enjoy seeing a lot of the concept art. Windfish's egg. So I guess he has to hatch the windfish. I'm not sure how I feel about desi the design of these either. <laughs> But I'm, I just won't, I won't say anymore. Like this, like that's really cool. Also, let me know if the reflection is really bad coming from my light. I hope not. Um, I'm trying to angle it a bit so you don't get that same reflection. But let me know if you got, if the lighting is okay for you guys. And you can still see the art all right. He's so cute. There's a dog! A bulldog. Goria. It's cute, cute, cute. Crazy Tracy. I wonder what makes her crazy. Is she in love with Link? Everyone's in love with Link. More alternate sands. <laughs> Avalanche. I assume they throw things at you. Maybe launch things at you. Raft shop owner. Would have been nice if they had names. <laughs> oh, my furnace just kicked in. Oh, and Dante. I heard somewhere that this was the first time he's appearing in this game. He's like, what, from Ocarina of Time. I remember seeing him in. Chamber stones. Don't know what that means, but I assume I'll find out when I play it. This is cool, though, that they have the actual... Literally, don't mind this purple thing. It is a really old purple shirt. <laughs> and I just use it so that my art bugs don't, like, scrape along the bottom of this. Anyways, 
Um, yeah, this is really awesome. It's like the full map of the original Game Boy version of the game. I like that. I am super sad we didn't get the same edition as Europe. I probably already said that during this video, but again, it's been a really long time since I filmed the original first part. I don't remember what I said. <laughs> so yeah, I'm upset that we didn't get that version because it came with like the steel book and the steel book looked amazing and I'm so jealous and I wanted to order it, but it was just kind of more expensive than I wanted. The steel book would have been nice. I don't know why they don't bring that kind of stuff over to North America often. Um, like we would want that too, you know? Can't you just make all the special editions? the same that'd be great so I didn't have to spend more money and I could just buy one edition and we'd be good anyways here we are <laughs> thank you so much for watching um I probably have a little blurb already of an ending so I will let that play now but that was the unboxing of the dreamers edition for the legend of zelda Link's awakening remade on the switch I'll put all of my social media in the description below along with my Philly links. If you buy anything through those links, I get a small commission. So thank you guys so much for doing that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the help and all of the support. I am so sorry that I have been away for so long. I'm going to try to catch up on all my videos and hopefully you guys can join me in them later on. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!